Controlling the direction of induction motor could be very important in some applications like controlling a garage door, controlling an elevator, or controlling a villa door. In this video, we will learn how to control the direction of induction motor. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. A three-phase induction motor could rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on the direction of rotating magnetic field. The direction of rotating magnetic field will be controlled by changing the connection of motor terminals. As you can see here in this motor junction box, the windings are connected in delta connection. Now by connecting the power source L1, L2, L3 to U1, V1, W1, the motor will rotate clockwise if we look to the motor from the drive end. But if we change any two cables together, the motor will change the rotation. So if we change L1 and L2 together, the motor will change the direction. So let's now create our power circuit. Bring a three pole circuit breaker, two three pole contactors, with two overload protection devices. Now, connect the three-phase power source L1, L2, L3 to the circuit breaker. Then, connect the output of circuit breaker to the two contactors K1 and K2 in parallel. Then, to the two overload OL1 and OL2. The output of the two overloads will be connected together, but we will change the order. Connect wire 1 of overload OL1 with wire 2 of overload OL2. Connect wire 2 of overload 1 OL1 to wire 1 of OL2. And connect wire 3 of, of OL1 to wire 3 of OL2. Now connect it to U1, V1, W1 in motor junction box. Let's trace our circuit now. If the circuit breaker is on and if K1 now is on, the motor will rotate clockwise because U1, V1, W1 in the motor will see L1, L2, L3. But if we stop K1 and start K2, now U1, V1, W1 in the motor junction box will see L2, L1, L3. The motor will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. Let's now create the control circuit. We have power source 20, 120 volt, L1 and neutral. Connect L1 to a stop switch. Then to normally close auxiliary contact in OL1. Then we will connect it to start button 1. That will make it to rotate clockwise. Then connect it to the coil contact A1 of contactor K1. And A2 of K1 to the neutral. Connect in parallel a normally open auxiliary contact of K1 to start button 1 to make a latch. Now create a parallel circuit, connect the second terminal of stop switch connected to start button 2. That will make the motor to rotate anti-clockwise. And in parallel to the start button 2, connect normally open auxiliary contact of K2 to make a latch. The output will be connected to coil terminal A1 of K2 and A2 of K2 to the neutral. Now if the stop switch is released, then when we push on S1 button, K1 will operate and the motor will rotate in clockwise direction and the auxiliary contact 
of K1 will be in close position and will make a latch. If we press stop button, the motor will stop. Release the stop button again and press on S2. The contactor K2 will operate and the motor will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. The normally open auxiliary contact of K2 will be in closed position now to make a latch. Good. No. There is a big mistake that we have made. Assume that K2 now is on and suddenly we press S1. So K1 will also operate. So K1 and K2 now are on. So a huge short circuit fault will occur because we connect now L1 and L2 power source together. To avoid that we will use a normally closed auxiliary contact from K1 and K2 to make an electrical interlock. In the first circuit we will connect now normally closed auxiliary contact of K2. In the second circuit, we will connect normally closed auxiliary contact of K1. Now, if K1 is on, for example, so the normally closed auxiliary contact of K1 here will be in open position. So if we press S2 now, the power will not supply to K2 and will never work when K1 is on. And vice versa, if K2 is on, K1 will never be on. So we have to stop K1 first, then start K2. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.